Let's start things off with President Moon Jae-in's comments at a forum on interregional cooperation. He emphasized with the latest detente in Pyongyang's nuclear deal, Seoul's government will be able to use the opportunity to build stronger economic cooperation with Russia's Far East. Shin Zemin has our top story. President Moon Jae-in said economic cooperation with northern countries will be the source of a new growth engine for Korea's economy and that both Seoul and Moscow should continue bolstering their cooperation through exchanges on multiple fronts. In the southeastern city of Pohang on Thursday at the inaugural edition of a forum on interregional cooperation, President Moon shared his vision for both Korea and Russia as well as the Far East. 정부는 한반도의 평화를 통해 남북 러 삼각 협력의 기반을 확고하게 달릴 것입니다. 극동 지역은 한반도와 유라시아의 물류와 에너지가 연결되는 핵심 지역이 될 것입니다. The Korea-Russia Local Cooperation Forum was set up under the deal reached last year in Russia by President Moon and Putin and was initially aimed at building ties between the two countries in the fields of economy, commerce, culture and education. It brings together representatives from 17 regions in Korea and nine from Russia's far eastern federal district. Its first edition was held at Korea's biggest steel production center, where President Moon announced the Pohang Declaration, in which the delegates agreed to five points, including cooperation in cutting-edge technology and the energy sector. The two sides have also agreed to set up a standing secretariat to facilitate cooperation and agreed to get more regional governments to join the forum. This is part of President Moon's new northern policy, under which Seoul is seeking to step up economic cooperation with a vast Eurasian country in multiple fields like energy, shipbuilding and transportation, alongside the detente with North Korea. The annual meeting is scheduled to be hosted alternately by the two sides, with next year's session to be held in Vladivostok. Shin Zemin, Arirang News.